I like looking at my sexy ass. Look at my belly. My belly looks so big in this screen, man. Yeah, yeah. It We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this place. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing sexy back. That's Timberlake. I am your co-host, Sandy of the Martins. My chum of chums, the chummiest of chummers. The chum of the north. The chum of the chummer of the north. Ock. And director, girl from signs, the man of many words, but zero points. <laughs> <laughs> Travis <accurate>. Turcott. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hate All that. right. <laughs> so Game of Thrones, eh? <laughs> not no, this that's week. an X. That's yeah. an X. You need to have a giant X across the screen. Come on. Eh, no fucking We're free of that bullshit. We're free of that exactly. Shit. So, should we just start, right, get to the juice? Get to the juice. So, a couple of days ago, a certain Skull fan had a trailer released for his certain Netflix series coming out. And that would specifically be Frank Castle, a.k.a. Punisher, Coming to Netflix, fuck, we didn't even do our research. Or we don't No, you remember at the end of the trailer, it did the, the flashing, it wasn't actually telling you, it just said 2017, and it, and it gargled and crypto the fucking, the actual date. All oh, we got, so all we got is, it, date, eh? yeah, all mm -hmm. we got is so far from Netflix at the end of that trailer was a, it is this year, yeah. so it's October, November, December, pro, I'm, my guess probably November, uh, because yeah. I don't think it would be as early as, I don't, I don't think we're seeing it next week, and uh, I don't think we'll see it like it, at Christmas time. So I think it'll be somewhere in the middle. Uh, I think it's going to be near the end I of hope October. We see it at near Christmas the end of October time, would be good. Too yeah. much cheer during Christmas, man. Frank yeah. Castle, definitely not cheery. Definitely looks like the darker of the uh, the Marvel. Uh, that should be, but that's you. You see from that trailer alone is why I say he can't work well with the other characters. That no, he play. don't. He not play nice with anyone. None of them. He the Punisher doesn't play nice. It's not if you're looking for a superhero or a hero or someone who f follows on the right side of morality. You can't be. You're not finding that in Punisher. You're not finding that with Frank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you feel me? Uh, he is a straight up uh, eye for an eye type of fella. Yeah. And that trailer definitely showed some eyes for some eyes. Now, my only beef I had, and we talked about this before. Yeah. My one beef that I had with the trailer, right at the beginning, you see him with his wife. And we all know from the Daredevil series, like season two of Daredevil, his family got iced at the, at the park. Where the, the carousel is. Well, the, was it the family got iced at the carousel? Or yes. he iced a bunch of no, gangbangers it was, at the carousel? No, because it was, so it was, it was in the newspaper. Or no, it was taken out of the newspaper. It was taken it out. It was a family was killed. It never specified his family. No, but they could have planted the family there. Who knows? Because in the trailer, they do show, it looks like uh, CIA or one of those. Uh, Are you referring to the flashback he has of his wife getting shot? Yes. I think that's yeah. going to be a dream. See, that's what I I'm think starting that, to think, I think too. That, I think like that seems. In, uh, I think that's a nightmare. You think he's gonna be walking through the house? And he's maybe. gonna see it happen. That makes where, sense. Where his that family dies, sense. it doesn't matter. The interesting thing about this, though, is some people are speculating that was like again, like I was saying a second ago, CIA murdered his family. So Riddick was saying some stuff the, like that. And even from the trailer, that doesn't look like gangbangers. That looks like a, that looks like a, a hit. Like maybe Frank knows a bit too much. Um, well, definitely. Like he was like in if. They're taking anything from the Max series. Yeah, but like, no, they wouldn't because Max is straight from Vietnam. So that part of yes, but they can obviously they can update it to like Afghanistan. They yeah, can no, take that, Vietnam, but that's, it'll be Afghanistan, Afghanistan Iraq. Yeah, no, it yeah. would. But that was that was. I think they based that off of, and I'm hoping so. I can't actually fact check this because again, we doubt a fact checker. But I believe they took that off of Becky Cloonan's Punisher series. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Greg Rucka might have been the first person to introduce him being in Afghanistan as opposed to the, the, yeah, Nam the Vietnam. Area. But yeah, what yeah. he did in Afghanistan was he served uh again special forces. I'm pretty sure he was still delted up. Um Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's the same thing. Right? Uh, they just moved the mayor. No, it's not because his next tour come around, he did a private contractor. In Becky Clooney's yes. story, he was private contractor. No, but I mean, his military background, they didn't change. I don't think they touched his unit or anything like that. I yeah. think they just moved the war era up to the more current. Right, well, that was my biggest knock, actually, with what they did with him in, 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 in Afghanistan. From the Daredevil one, they were saying that his platoon rolled up and they got ambushed. Yes. And he saved everybody. Yes. Like, the thing about Frank Castle is that's not kind of, like, not that he's against saving people. It's just, like, his mystique in the, in the military combat thing has always been like this guy lives 
through encounters that nobody fucking lives. Yes, like his sole he's survivor. Only, he's the sole survivor mm-hmm. of, of just really shitty fucking situations. But they do have to make him seem like he is like a, still a hero esque. But you're wasting your time doing that. You're wasting your time doing that. I know, but you got to understand, they're getting this out for the masses. I hear you. I hear you. But to me, there's a distinct difference between, yeah, okay, cool. You saved everyone. I got you. Captain America has done that plenty of fucking times in in World War II, right? The Captain thing America's about Captain America can't be as hell. Oh, you read Max. Yes. So in Valley Forge, Valley Forge, mm. he was sent out to a a, a, a a fob, like a forward operating base that was doomed. They were fucked. The Viet Cong were coming. There was nothing they can do to hold it. And it was just kind of like just stay out there and hold the spot. Anyway, yes. you know how the army does crazy shit. The mm-hmm. military, like the comics loves to really Don't fuck know. with that type of shit. Yes. Um, and they just got fucked. Like they got completely fucked. They got motored. They got uh, aerial stri- like uh, air attacks and land forces came through and they fucked up everything. And Punisher the only dude to live through it. So to me, I think that sets his character separate from. It's almost like death is like not he's not touchable by it. Yeah, but that was that was also the same time he got captured. Maybe they'll go into detail Vietnam. with the mercenary. No, that was after I believe. Oh no, that yeah no. Maybe that. they'll just get into more detail this uh, this season about the mercenary portion. Maybe when he goes back as the mercenary, he that's where a lot of this lone wolf. No, I kind I kind of actually hope it's a rogue CIA because yeah. like, you know they can't always they can't say the CIA was all bad. They'd have to say like it was just like no, a it was specific a, division. A, yeah. yeah, faction. Yeah. Within you know, yeah, like that was corrupt. Yep. Because I've been I've been saying it for a long time, and like you know, I'm I'm a pretty big Punisher fan, but I haven't read everything Punisher. But to my knowledge, the only thing he hasn't come up against, like he's fucked with police. Uh, yep. You know, he's fought him in certain circumstances. Uh, he definitely fucks with gangbangers and organized crime. Organized crime, crime he basically limited right? to one point. Yeah, right. Becky Cloonan introduced him into a bit of a corporate angle, but like he's never actually gone toe to toe per se with the with the American government or yes. an agency from the government. Like they did send Delta after him, but he wasn't he didn't kill nobody in the Delta because he no, was like but that you was guys because, just following orders. Yes, exactly. Right? And again that was a rogue element, but it was it only died with that dude. So it'd be pretty kind of cool to see him go up against something a little oh bit more. Oh my god, I'm so excited. More stuck. Yeah, I, I am too because like I see the picture of they sent they sent the picture uh Riddick sent a picture of Punisher, and it looked really bad. Like it looked like he was wearing like a, like he was gonna go dance at a at a, a burlesque show. Like it looked, <laughs> it looked like he was wearing like a, was it what are they call brassiers? Like you know the oh garter belts? No, not garter belts. Like uh, no, just, um, no, what the fuck's it called? Corset. That's it. it. It just looked weird. Yeah, it just looked weird, and it's like man, you know, like fuck off with the, but you know. So I was kind of worried about it. And again, like the first time I see the trailer, I was kind of worried about it. And then the second time you see the trailer, there's just some cool part. Honestly, I can't tell you anything. Okay. Boom. <laughs> yeah. no, that's Don't that's that. Frank. <laughs> there he is. I can live with Frank. Yeah. yeah. I, I like that. The one scene that I really dug was him screaming with that. He had that big, uh, the big gun there, and he's like walking towards the pole. Yeah. He's just screaming. It's showing how much fucking anger that that yeah. fucking guy has. Yeah. Well, that trailer was yeah. really well done. Like, honestly, I love that trailer and how they had the. And you mentioned it too. Like it took me a second after you mentioned it, like yeah. with the bullets, how it went with the music. I was just like, "Oh my yeah, god!" Yeah, because well, it was uh, other oh, hype. It was Metallica, but like uh, it was Master Puppet, wasn't it? No, was it Master or was it One? Yeah, I think it was one. Was it good one? Yeah, yeah. I think it was one. That's yeah. That's so right, yeah, but you know the part where it's like they you sub that out and they put it in with bullets. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> you know, whatever, man. Like as long as the bullets is flying, at the end of the day, you're not yep. really gonna be upset with a Frank Castle. Nope. It'll definitely probably be the best. I think so. this will be the best take on Castle. Again, I said Daredevil two was through the roof. No, 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 no. I think the yeah. I think oh this iteration, God, this so. whole Netflix iteration, will be uh, the best. Uh, version we'll see of Frank Castle versus the two movies that came out in the early 2000s. No, okay, yeah, okay, so Adult first, Wonder. no, time yeah. out, time Don't out till ever. I die, time out till I die. Yeah. The Tom Jane Punisher was a fucking amazing Punisher. He was okay? good. Now, the only issue I had with it, it was, it was, it was too comic. Yes. Right? Like, yes. they, they, they leaned too heavy on the comic, because, like, they sometimes to make it Punisher really, really over the top. Yes. Yeah, but, like, it had some of the greatest one-lines you'll ever have. In, in life, like to this day, man, how many times you hear no, it come out of my no. mouth? How many times do you hear it come out of my mouth? God's gonna sit this one out. Yeah, like that's the greatest fucking line ever. I think. No, but you can't. Right? No, this well, Punisher. John Travolta when he rolled no. up at the end. Oh my god! And he's like, he's like, what did I ever do to you? You killed my family. You killed my son. Ah, yeah. I killed both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? He's just a good actor. Like that's the thing. You put no. a really good actor in that role. 
No. Yeah, Have yeah, you guys yeah, seen yeah, him yeah. in The Expanse? No. I love this yeah, Punisher. Tom Jane, oh, yeah, Tom Oh, I love good? this Punisher. So, no, I'm not saying he's a bad Punisher. I it's love just him. Say, I'm just saying the Tom Jane Punisher, in my mind, was a good Punisher movie. It was just a good standalone Punisher movie. Like, remember the part where at the end, too? Uh, Rebecca Romaine Stamos No she was sitting there She was asking She's like Where are you gonna go Are you, are you leaving He's like Oh yeah <laughs> She's like Where can I read it? Like where can I hear from you She's like He's like The newspaper She's like What section Obituaries <laughs> Are yeah, you that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah that was like, pretty good yeah, yeah, yeah. That movie had some lines yes. So like yes. I'm not knocking it But the The ones with the Jigsaw Like the When they took Polo From Rome Yeah Yeah that was stupid. That guy looks more like an alcoholic than Frank Frank Castle. Like, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Frank Castle's not a. He, he just looks and, and mm-hmm. like devoid of soul. No, not I did, devoid it, of lo- it looked like it was just a cash cow. Put Punisher on it. See if we can make some money. Yeah. Um, I had a buddy actually, a, a weapons tech out of Montreal, who actually got brought on as the uh, site um, weapons expert there to show the guy. And he said even they didn't know. Like the director was clueless. He's on set. It felt really sloppy when yeah. he was filming, and he was yeah. behind the scenes. And uh, and as for the Dolph Lundgren one, I think that just falls into the the eighties or the eighties. Yeah. No, so. I love Dolph Lundgren. I love Dolphy too. Don't get me wrong. Dolph. Rock, Rocky <laughs> Four is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Master of the Universe, man. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah, close yeah, second, yeah, but it's yeah. still not Rocky Four. Yeah. Oh, it's still not Rocky Four. Like we could probably do He Man as one of our obscure characters for Character Class One Hundred One. Yeah. Oh, yeah straight, speaking straight, of which, Character straight. Class One Hundred One, another video out this week. Um, it's we coming. We, you it's got coming. a plug. We were talking about Punisher. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. You mentioned you mentioned character class one one. No, we'll have another serious, one. Oh, man, no, but on a serious note, like yeah. that Punisher, like this Punisher now, it's good. I love him. It's good. Oh, yeah, I it's love him. It's Daredevil short, season two look solidified look. him as Punisher for well, me. The good yeah, thing about Jail Netflix scene? is yes. they're not afraid to cross certain lines and be like, oh, that's too dark. They're just like, fuck it, crank her to eleven and go. Netflix don't give a fuck. Look at that new comedy show they got coming out there where they're just kind of dissing Netflix shows. Did you see the trailer? That one where the guy draws dicks everywhere. No, 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 no. It's like no, Dave Chappelle, crazy. Chris Rock, Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, I can't remember the other comedians. But it kind of just looks like they just dissing Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I didn't like, see that one, no. N- Netflix is, is shit or something. Pay- I can't remember what it is. But it's Netflix paying him? He'll, he'll figure out what the actuality of it is, and then he'll... Put yeah. a little link at the bottom, hopefully. Fact checker. Fact, fact checker. checker I'll, fact check. I'll fact check. You fact guys keep talking. Uh, you guys, like, oh, you fact checking that now. I'll say we can do that Let's afterwards. talk about the conspiracy. Hold on. Hold on a sec. I think could, we can lead into later on if you guys want throughout the course of the, you know, whenever you get to this and watch it, if you feel so obliged to put a comment down, let us know if you want us to discuss a little bit more TV show, uh, comic TV shows. Yep. Because tons of them are coming out. Yes. Uh, Gotham's getting restarted. I think mm. Arrow's coming out yeah, soon. Yeah, season four Gotham. Yeah, Flash is coming out. Yeah, Flash is coming out. Out. Last year's season was fucking amazing. Yes, it was. As, as regards to Flash. Oh, and Board Heroes of Tomorrow is coming out soon. No, no. Uh, who who no. else is in it? Dave Chappelle, Ellen DeGeneres, motherfucking uh, Chris he- Rock. Heroes of Tomorrow is coming out soon. Heroes of Tomorrow? Yeah. Which one's that one? That's the Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, Legends of Tomorrow. DC Legends of yeah, Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one's also like one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, so I love that. It's <laughs> it is cheese. Um, that's what I love right, about but it. There's new ones. There's the the horribly reviewed uh, pilot one of Inhumans. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like if, if I, normal that's people may, think that's maybe shit, getting. I, can't I, wait to, I don't yeah. even know if it's going to make the whole fucking season unless they've already filmed the whole season. No, I think they're going to come out the season anyways. So yeah. they're not going to stop the that one, midway. Actually, so. I just started watching a show right now. It has one of my favorite actors in it. Um... Eli Roth. Yeah, okay. Why do you like Eli Roth so it's, much? It's, 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 I'm getting the name right. Uh, he was in the movie, a lot. he's in the TV he series Lie to Me. Rob, uh, uh, more importantly, uh, Reservoir Dogs. Dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sorry. But anyway, so um, he he just came out we'll with a new... put a picture up of Eli yeah, Roth. Yeah, Eli Roth. Fantastic actor. He was obviously in the new Hulk, uh, well, the newer, in the Incredible Hulk 2 as Abomination. Oh, that's Tim Roth. Tim Roth. Tim Roth. Yeah. I thought it was Eli. No, it's no. Tim. It's Tim. You guys are fucking high. Yeah, yeah. We fucked it's that Tim Roth. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put, I'm going to check. I'm going to find out who Eli Roth was and I'll put <laughs> oh, that up. Oh, I'm looking up who Eli Why do I have a free angel reading on my <laughs> So, anyway, so uh, he's in a new TV series something. right now called uh, Tin, a Tin Man. A tin Man? Oh man, Eli Roth. We know this dude too. It's just the wrong guy entirely. Yeah, <laughs> Eli not, Roth is no, the put uh, down Tim Roth. He's yeah. from. He's from that fucking Heroes. I don't give a fuck what he's from. I just seen the punk yeah. face. But anyway, uh, so and it's in, Tim Roth. Yeah, yeah I don't. So anyway, Tim Roth <laughs> is in this new game series time, called. Game game time, Yo, I didn't even say Google it this time. No, no. he's good. <laughs> no. And he's on the ball. Yo, but, can yeah. we put fireworks? And yeah, like, pew, 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 pew. if not, I'll put a picture of a firework up. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'll, well make we'll, that firework like fly if it's just a picture. So anyway, so uh, he's in a new TV show called Tin Man right now, 
And uh, is it about Oz? No, it's about Ooh. a British. It's so far I'm I'm I not like into it. it fully right now, but it's about a British uh, police officer that comes to Canada yeah. to work for this uh, uh, this town as their sheriff while an oil company boots up, and it's yeah. in BC. So it's like and super. Does he ca- beat up black people too? No, it probably beats uh, up natives. Oh, yeah, actually, oh, no. Canadian yeah, yeah. Well, they've already accurate. started alluding Canadian that the fact accurate. that there's a tension between the sheriff and the natives because everyone's he's against the, the oil company moving in because with the oil companies we know Fort Mac comes crime, drugs, prostitution, all yes. that. He doesn't want that to happen to the town. But the uh, the natives are like, well, that's going to bring money to our casino and everyone in the town. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The natives would be against that. Right now, the natives are against it. I'm just saying what's going to happen in the show. Wow. So you always got to remember. Try, you always got to remember. Generally it. speaking, if you what if you're writing a story, you have no concept of reality and you just like making yeah, up no shit, kidding. So like, Let's make the natives look bad. You know, that's what they do. Yeah, that is literally what they wow. do unless they're using them for wisdom. But again, that's <laughs> how I, I keep laughing at these. Sorry, Tin Star. Man. The act. The show's called Tin Star, and it takes place in BC. And it's actually filmed on location. It's really good. Uh, visually, it's a pretty good show. And it's 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 a pretty dark humor. Uh, he's a recovering alcoholic. Uh, blah, this blah, blah. is humorous? Uh, it's dark humor. It's supposed to be getting, like they say that, I, I'm only a couple episodes into it, but they say it's going to like, They had a rough couple hundred years. I'm not, I'm not. No, it has not, not. The, the natives yeah. are just like, a, so far when not I see. Not if they're getting portrayed as assholes who no, want crime. No, yeah, no, no, exactly. no, they want money for the reserve. Everyone's poor in the neighborhood. Yeah, again, you look like an asshole that way. No, the whole town is. The whole town's against the sheriff. And uh, oh, that's great. So, um, it's so far, it's a pretty good show. The acting's like phenomenal. They have some really solid actors for the whole show. Yeah. They have Christina Hendricks is in there. Who She's she? Christina Hendricks, Hendricks, Mad Men. I don't watch Mad Men. Oh, fantastic actress. She's in there uh, alongside with a couple, uh, a Canadian actor that shows up in a lot of TV shows like um, Sanctuary. She's a lot of. He's in a lot. Man, of Sanctuary stuff. sucked. He's the he's the guy that plays the tall bald guy. He plays. Uh, I watched like River. three episodes of anyway, Sanctuary. And I was so, like, this show sucks. I, it was good. Anyway, <laughs> I need Sanctuary from the. Sanctuary. He's also he's also in like Stargate Atlantis and Stargate. So he. I he, got beef with Stargate Atlantis. Yeah. So yeah, he's. Stargate um, Atlantis is awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's where fucking what's his name made his fucking ripping terrorist. That's I, where he made his start there. Jason Mo Mama Mama. Yeah, Mo Mama. Mama. Mo Mama. But yeah, so Mama. anyway, it's a it's pretty good uh, yeah. so far. Uh, I'll get back to you when I finish it, but uh, definitely worth taking out if you're a Tim Roth fan. He's so far his acting has been. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, as for other TV shows that I'm kind of interested in, we're we're starting to tick. Yeah, uh, so far well, you yes. talked, man. We were we were we ticked. You talked. We were going on about comic book TV shows, homie. <laughs> then you had to Sorry. bring up some shit about let's go fuck names. I just saw. Yeah, really let, uh, okay. Let's the make tick. Like the guys. ticks out. Have you watched any of the tick? No, I'm not. Uh, watching me and the Sandy tick. are watching a little bit. So, yeah, we I'm were. We started watching the first episode. Yeah. Um, I can't. I, I feel, can't say I, anything I, yet. I feel bad. I'm it's used... not the same guy from the original tick. That guy was like the best tick. No, this guy's pretty good. I don't know, man. He His doesn't voice, have that same voice. No, no. He, you know he, the guy who does the car rentals now, the Enterprise car. Yeah, yeah. he's also he's also he's also Joe from uh, f- f- Family Guy. He's okay. He also was in Seinfeld for a bit. Putty. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Putty. He was, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I but love that guy. No, uh, he, the the guy that got now is pretty good. Like he does the whole voice, like ha ha, evil villains. Like he's very good at it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I've seen a, a little bit more than Sandy has, and it so far it, it it's very tick. Yeah, but that's the thing though. It's like, man, move past him. He already mm-hmm. had his time on TV. It didn't yeah, work yeah. out well. Let's I just think that and now Amazon Prime got better actors and better writers to come well, on. Amazon Prime just doing what everyone else is doing is trying to copy that superhero formula. Get get yourself mm-hmm. someone unique. There's plenty of them out there. Let's not keep rehashing for I love the tick. Mm-hmm. But anyway. I guess, but I can't. Yeah, but that's really what Hollywood many, is about, rehashing formulas. Yeah, I know. Well, you know what I mean? I'm, I guess, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, okay if they, I okay if they take something that was good that maybe didn't get the chance it deserved. Because I think the tick was ahead of his time. He was kind of at the beginning of the superhero ramp up in the early 2000s. Yeah, you no, know, yeah. well, like, they, 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 And they, Fox like, did a terrible job. He's like a Deadpool type superhero. They're not yeah. real. They're not supposed to be taken yeah. seriously. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh boy! Oh, just just fuck them. Anyway, What's that? we should have answered that on there. Pass it over. It's no. it's a telemarketer. Is it? Yes, yeah, telemarketer. What do you mean? Telemarketer. Hold on, we can pretend it's a real person. <laughs> okay. Hi, Robbie's Comics. Hi, dropped. Yes, this is the greatest place for comics. Yes, technically, I'm actually plugging the store right now. No, nope. yeah, this is a real person. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a telemarketer, so I was just doing a joke. How are you doing? No? Oh, my God. Why are you calling on such a weird number? Your telephone number is like 40 digits? Who is this? It's Amanda. 
Amanda. You see, we're in the middle of filming. <laughs> I look like an ass hat. Well, actually, I guess I always look like an ass hat, so I don't matter. But you calling so Sandy can come get a spider out of your store? No, I can't get out of the store. The next to us uh, apparently has a spider. I don't know what you want me to do here. Like that, That's one of those moments where it's like, I think you need to overcome your fears. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Or you can wait like five minutes and let us just finish up uh, what we're doing here, and then uh, we'll send Sandy just over to do your keep bit. Keep an eye on it. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you sound so sad now. <laughs> Is it because you worried the spider going to come get you? Because <laughs> he might. Spiders are fucked up. You can't turn your back on them. <laughs> They're ruthless. They got rabies. <laughs> they got spider. Yeah, they got spider rabies. They're the worst. All right, so yeah, just give us like five, ten minutes, and then we'll send our resident spider master to go take care of the... All right. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. All right, well, see you soon. All right, so that wasn't Google. <laughs> but everything else was fucking factual. Yep. Including that you got to go kill a spider. <laughs> All right, so really quick then before we fucking wrap this well, up. Well, no, we got some time. Uh, we no, we don't bit. have time. Like, he has to go soon. And uh, well, she's yeah. going to call back in yeah. like five yeah. minutes. Yeah, so. Let me introduce this Absolutely. one. All right, so right in front of us here, we have four fucking brand new pops. Four brand new ones, because Pops like to do the same characters for different things, even though they pretty much look the same, right? Yeah. But we got four new Pops, right? We have uh, Batman, Cyborg, Flash, Superman. All of them are from Justice League. Who's not in the Justice League, though? Superman. Super why is Superman not in the Justice League? Because he... Died he at died. the end of Batman v Superman. I died too, so I didn't know. That. Yeah, so <laughs> did I. I was like, I can't believe I made it through. So if he shows up in Justice League, no, I'm, I just put him up there for a second. They don't need okay. to see my face. Yeah, they yeah. need to focus on Superman because this is getting ruined for everybody. Yeah, yeah. If this motherfucker shows up in Justice League, the first Justice League right? movie, I believe if you went to see the movie, you need to send a letter of discontent to the company, the Funko, these motherfucking funky motherfuckers, <laughs> and tell them to keep their mouth shut till the movie comes out. Like, you can easily fucking release that after the fucking movie. But if this son of a bitch shows up in the fucking movie, which he fucking shouldn't, because it's really stupid to kill him and then just bring him back. Exactly. Just so he can fight later. Steppenwolf. They're going right? to bring him in at the very end when the bleak, everything's nah, like, eh, and Zero's nah, going to be like, I'm here, friend. Nah, you know, the they should whole just point, be fighting Steppenwolf. That's you know it. what? And in that trailer, the whole point of Jeremy Irons, you not seeing who he's talking to, to keep it hidden exactly to keep it hidden so people can start to think oh hey maybe martian manhunter's coming in. Right. oh hey oh, I, heard, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard that some people were saying talking about it might even have been jonathan stewart green lantern coming oh my god which would have been cool oh my fuck. god but i that, love that they're right. keeping it hush hush that's oh my god are they keeping it hush hush if they put this guy in it he don't yes, have those exactly. fucking lines <laughs> that's right and if you look on the back and you look at the whole set it shows uh, Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, The Flash, and Cyborg. Hey, we need we need somebody out there who might be listening to this who has really no time on their hands. Check that uniform. Is that the same uniform from BVS? Because if it's not the same uniform from BVS, you can probably bet he's going to show up That's in he? fucking Justice League. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same uniform from BVS. Okay. Because, like, fuck, man. If he shows up... And now, the other thing is, if this motherfucker isn't in the movie... What the fuck is wrong with you, Funko, for putting him yeah, on the line? exactly. Like, fuck you, Funko. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a lose-lose. No one wants him. You're damned if you do well, you and still damned combine if you don't. In the area. Yeah, so fucking this week's episode, Heroes of the Week, Netflix for dropping a pretty decent fucking Punisher trailer. I think Amanda took care of her spider problem. I think so, too. She beefed out. She was that her, that or she just was gave this up. the case that she just wanted to speak to you, Sid? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I hope uh, you don't watch this. Uh, <laughs> so, the Pun yeah, Punisher was awesome. We give, him, we give that a thumbs up. 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. And then the fuck you award goes to fuck you, Funko, you fucking commie motherfuckers, man. <laughs> and like whoever wrote that series, Tim Roth, is in. Uh, Yes. And uh, what about the Justice League? You said Justice League conspiracy? That is a conspiracy. Oh, that is a oh, conspiracy. That's a conspiracy. You, what more conspiracy do you need? If this motherfucker shows up, you're going to know he's showing up because he's like, I got the Justice League pop combo. Yeah, the exactly. Fuck. Now, oh, mind you, because we low budget, we still didn't get the other two hookers. Um, Aquaman and Wonder Woman should be on this list. Mm -hmm. They didn't come in this week. And for point of reference, this one's mine. Because Ben Affleck 
is an awesome Batman. He is. Just Batflick is pretty sick. Horribly written. He didn't write the fucking details. I know, but he was horribly well, written. I, I'm concerned about I'm the not movie. saying anything about Affleck because the guy going to get hurt feelings again. Uh, um, hello, darkness. Right, but you, okay, listen, I'm going to give some great advice to any fucking actor who thinks they can write or whatever because they've been around for a minute, whatever it is you yeah, want. Yeah. It's cool. Do your thing. You know, you can you can come up with your midnight movie or whatever the fuck he called it, which wasn't even that good, so I wouldn't even fucking mention it out the side of my mouth if I wrote that shit. <laughs> But when you take over something like Batman and you say you're writing Batman, you got to keep in mind you ain't even dealing with comic nutheads. Like Batman is like you're dealing with a Culture. whole slew of Batman fans. Yes. You can't uh, fuck with that shit. And not so don't mention, bitch when you start getting griped about it because well, guess what? You got to expect that. Like when Thor lifts up the hammer, he ain't expecting to go fight fucking goddamn Smurfs, is he? <laughs> no, that's true. no, the thing <laughs> is too, and Batman, because of Christopher Nolan. Shout out to Mike. Yeah. Christopher Nolan because of the Dark Knight. <laughs> It, 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 Batman's on a pretty high pedestal. That fuck no, man. That, that, get the fuck out. Ah, fuck. Not Christopher for the Nolan comic book people, but for the masses. Get Everyone. out of here. That, that, yeah, I don't even know how the masses can like that movie yeah, at I don't the know end. Either. It's like, yo, Batman. Not the third one. The second one. The second one took too long, man. The second one's like six hours. I was like, this movie fucking over yet? It feels like it's over. Oh, yeah. no. More, more. You're more on, gibberish. You're on yeah. the. You're on the small. I'm I, sorry. You're on the. More uh, gibberish, followed by Batman running around and fucking someone commenting about how he's not the person that we kind of use, but we need to kind of have. But we kind of <laughs> gotta get him. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. That was some jibby, jibby gibberish. You're yeah. The truth okay. is, no, it's not. It's because I you hate Frank Miller's idiot. Batman. That's not. It was even based on Frank Miller. Yeah. It was based off of the Nolan brothers, the two of them jerking off when they were kids, apparently. Like, I got news for you. If you really like Batman since you were a fucking kid, you could have at least made the motherfucker figure some shit out. He's the world's greatest detective. Mm -hmm. Not the world's biggest fucking asshat who can Blunder. punch things really hard. No, you feel me the third one. Well, hey, what's the problem? Well, they're bomb. That's... We put a bomb right fucking there, Batman. Right, right, uh, there. <laughs> yeah, Batman. Now go de I can't deactivate it. I don't know. Uh, did I fuck you? It's like, get the fucking plane. Go clip it up. Take it into Metropolis. So he's like, oh, I, I can do that. You <laughs> <laughs> stupid motherfucker, man. You dumb motherfucker. Him and Bane fight should have been like, what are you saying? I don't understand. And Bane's like, yeah, you wouldn't understand because you're fucking stupid anyway. So it's a matter what you fucking think you're saying. Like, hear me saying. But what did you think? What do you, what do you think of that Bane? What Bane? I don't, I don't even recognize no, Bane. Whatever. That wasn't Bane. No. That was just some dude no. with a fucking speaking problem. Exactly. That was, yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Bane. Was, Bane yeah. from, from, from roughly the greatest, a you, but fictional the country. Greatest, but the greatest roughly freestyle what did you think of South America. America. What do you think of Heath Ledger's Joker? I'm Bane! Heath Ledger's Joker was good. But like just because Heath Ledger's Joker was good doesn't mean the rest of the fucking yeah, movie yeah, was good. Yeah. It's just like that Heath Ledger really the franchise. Carried, yeah, but like he kind of like the carried. first two. Yeah, he I pretty much did. I like the first two. I did not like the third one. I don't know. Even the fucking you can't beat up Raz Al Ghul like that, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, I think the, yeah, sure not, you can beat him, but he got come, he got come back immortal, five minutes man. later, man. Like, yeah, they just put him in Lazarus pit, and he's like, "Fucking kidding, kidding me, man!" Um, no, and, uh, man, the guy pretty much drinks the Lazarus. The motherfucker pit. took eight years off of being Batman. Who, yeah, <laughs> what Batman ever took eight years off of being fucking Batman? Five days after being Batman, like what the <laughs> fuck is that shit? See, my my big thing right now is I, I I think Ben Affleck's really good, and if you if you like look into his personal life, like he's Chris, good Batman, Kevin Smith, and stuff, I don't care uh, about you his find out he's. Life. Like, I don't care about no, that. Shit. You actually really find out don't. that he's actually a big comic book fan for Batman. Like he actually lo likes the the. Batman. Anybody can say anything. Was <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big He Man fan. No, you're not. I know I'm not, but I'm, I can say it. You don't, you don't just throw that out there. That's he, man. That's precious to me. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have really done it. Really like I, don't it. I don't want anyone to, we can't to, make, to believe that people things like Things we can't make fun of in the store is Ubuntu. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, you still do anyways. Dragon Ball Z Super. Dragon Ball Super? I don't yes. know if you can make fun of DB because it's been around for two Yeah, years. or you can't make fun of He-Man. Shirtless Bear Fighter is off limits as well, too. And Hawkeye. No, Hawkeye's clearly Hawkeye, in play. Yeah, yeah, clearly yeah, in play. He gets made fun of Hawkeye. All Bastards. Because Hawkeye's like, I get this one, like, <laughs> like, But I'll tell you this much. If Hawkeye showed up in any of the Colin, uh, fucking, uh, what's her fucking name? Nolan, Nolan, Nolan Batman. Mm -hmm. It would probably be a hell of a significant improvement. <laughs> not but Jeremy yeah. Renner, though. So, but um, Hawkeye always, he stays on track with what's happening, right? Yes, it's yes, not like yes, he's yes. like, hey, guys, let's go fuck around. No. Like, you know, so let's go he's, fuck he's the girl still going to be in jail, eh, movie. when the Avengers comes out? Is he still uh, going to be locked no, up? No, he's out, he's out. I thought he was out at the end of the movie. Did they let him out? Did they they, they, they broke him out? Did they? You mean the Avengers movie, yeah. not JLA? No, 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 Captain America. Yeah, yeah. Captain America. Yeah, yeah. They broke him out at the end, did they? Yes. I could have sworn he was yes. in Wakanda, wasn't he? Uh, no, you don't see him in Wakanda. So then no, he's still in jail. No, he isn't. 
But the, everyone broke out. How did everyone break out? Because Steve broke everyone out. But yeah. he was, then he was in Wakanda. No, he went somewhere else. He obviously has a family. His family's fucked, man. If yeah, I, I know. If I, if I were anyone chasing Hawkeye, I'd have murdered his family. That's what I was That's what I'm hoping. I would have kept That's on. what I've been hoping for since the whole thing came you about. Want him to, you want him to fall in love with... Uh... No! No, he just wants him to have tragedy so he can become Hawkeye and not Clint Barton as well. Yes, no, just not the drop. Clint Barton of the Matt Fraction stupid fucking series. Oh, you like, that's no, like, that guy kind of got 50. No, I don't, no, I don't care. I don't care. But on that note, before I start going on a freaking tangent, tangent, I think tangent. we need to. I need to think we got to give it the old cutsy cuts. Yes. What are we cutsy cutsing? Because it's timey time. Time. Oh time. yeah. 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 We gotta, we gotta Actually, it's really timey time. Yeah, we yeah. got peace out this week. Thanks for coming back and watching. Uh, we're hopefully gonna have a character course one one out this by the end of the week again. Yes. Plug. Uh, plug. Um, and uh, it'll be these two. Show. It'll be these two bastards here talking about a. A character that probably no one's ever heard of or thought was a character in comics. I uh, doubt it. If you're listening to this, it's probably one out of every five of you know who this Yeah, don't listen is. to him. Yeah. <laughs> no, but anyway. Uh, if you're on the Travis anyways. side of things. He's like, who? If you if you got the Batman yeah. Nolan collection triple DVD the set, extra special edition that comes with his fucking IQ test that literally sees how stupid fucking <laughs> Brucey Bruce is. Yeah. You probably have no clue who this character is. Because he's <sighs> stupid. <laughs> so he's stupid too, and I ain't got a great call calling you stupid. Stop it! Shit! I cry a lot. Anyway, I uh, so thanks for watching, back. and we'll see you next week. And we look forward to seeing your comments below. Take your easy and more hits. Later, guys. Likes and subscribes. Man, imagine this with a budget.